Hey guys, just a really short video from me today. Halo released its March community update today, and many Halo fans assumed that this would be the March update covering Halo Infinite Season 1 info. Well, the community update revealed next to nothing for Halo Infinite, and to provide clarity on this update, Sketch from 343 made a tweet talking about the update coming tomorrow. He said the monthly community update recaps overall Halo happenings from the past month. This is not the hashtag Halo Infinite update, nor the Season 1 outcomes blog I mentioned was coming. That's still in the works, and should be landing tomorrow. And just to manage expectations accordingly, the upcoming Infinite blog offers team perspectives on key Season 1 feedback themes. While some work items are confirmed coming in Season 2, many others are in earlier various stages of development with no firm ETA just yet. So typically we'll get a Halo Infinite update from 343 every Friday, or Saturday for an Australia like me. And what's a little bit worrying is that Sketch has to kind of manage our expectations, and I think everyone's expectations are already pretty darn low. Him saying that doesn't give me the best hope for tomorrow, especially because he said some work items are confirmed coming in Season 2, but then went on to say many others are in earlier slash various stages of development with no firm ETA yet, which means a lot of things we've been talking about for Season 1 that need to get fixed for Season 2 may not be getting fixed until halfway through Season 2 and possibly even into Season 3. As I said a week ago, this Halo Infinite Season 1 feedback update or feedback blog needs to cover a range of things that we've been asking for and asking about ever since the game launched back in November 15th. So they need to talk about desync, server stability, cheating, weapon and vehicle balancing, custom games being kind of broken, and one thing I want to see them address are events. I think events need to be completely overhauled for Halo Infinite Season 2, because while some of the events were quite decent, in terms of the content offering, besides the battle pass, there was literally nothing really to do in the game. The only exciting game mode I can think about was Attrition, but even then there just needs to be way more coming to the game for these events. Events should keep people playing during the entirety of the event, and even people that have completed the entire battle pass, they should still be coming back to the game if the game modes fun and exciting. Releasing Fiesta six times for the Tenra event is honestly downright freaking ridiculous and I know a lot of people including myself have been complaining about that and I definitely want to see them talk about that tomorrow as that should fall under season 1 feedback themes. Since the update drops tomorrow on April Fools it will be interesting to see if 343 do any jokes with us although I don't think any jokes right now will be received that well by the Halo community but honestly I'm just excited to see more stuff on Halo Infinite because if I'm honest guys March was just an awful month for the game. I think we all can agree on that and hopefully April is a lot better in terms of getting us ready for season 2 but hopefully the update from 343 tomorrow will be better than we think but of course we'll have to wait and see. Alrighty guys if you like being up to date with everything Halo Infinite be sure to drop a sub I'd really appreciate it and I'll catch you all in the next video. Have a good one.